Hey everybody, it's Friday, December 12th, and yes, I'm here with a good with haul. I went on Sunday, and I am just now getting around to recording this one, and I'm just going to work my way backwards because I'm, I have two more hauls that I should have done before Thanksgiving, so I think today is the day I will get them up because I have more videos, and they're not going to get done if I don't get started. <laughs> So, anywho, the baby Einstein book for the baby. She needed some more books because she is, and in, she's into books, and she's really some of them she's starting to tear or destroy <laughs> um, the board books. And then she's trying to get the the kids' paperback books, so I have to make sure I keep her a good enough supply. And we, like I said, we had these before, so that's the reason why. I picked them when I saw them. Uh, Baby Noah, World Animals, and I think we have a video for this. Uh, you know, at one point we had all the books and all the videos. Mm, quite scary, but yeah. <laughs> um, Baby McDonald on the farm, and Neighborhood Animals. And then, put that right there. Well, along with that, I found this Lullaby Classics, which we always, we've had this before, too. So, I uh, might as well go ahead, trying to introduce them to more music. And then I found this Kids Pop Halloween song. It has the Adams Family theme, which we actually do our days of the week, too. King Tut, Thriller. And so forth, but just something to keep them moving, especially when it's cold out. We can't go out where it's raining, which it has been a lot of. We need exercise in our school day, so that I found this Little Mermaid soundtrack and the original Annie soundtrack and cassette. And to go along with that, I actually found the cassette first, or the video first, and then I saw the cassette, and I thought, okay, even though this one is the Millennium version, um, still pretty much the same. So, and they've just watched this, so, yeah, had to teach them a lesson, because <laughs> they were not obeying. Anywho. Move it along. Um, tape, cassette tapes. The case is right now MIA, but it's somewhere around here. Dave and, Go Dave, Dave and Goliath, yeah. Dave and the Giant Pickle, which we had all the Veggie Tales before uh, for my older kids. And then, let me show this one Rad Shack and Benny. And then Bear in the Big Blue House, which is very old, and we still had cassettes for it, but as you guys know, it was stuff that was in storage, so, yeah. My 14-year-old, she loved um, Bear in the Blue, Big Blue House when she was growing up, so I thought that would be fun for them. And I guess I'll keep going with the movies. There's a few of Elmo on Grouchland. We've had this so many times. I just keep replacing it. Um, it got scratched, and they do watch it, and we kind of keep this one in the car. Or in my expedition, rather. But Elmo and Grouchland. Best of Elmo 2. We have part 1, and I just love this episode. Um, or this, this uh, particular DVD, how they put it together. With, uh different different um let's say different celebrities i like the celebrities in this one so there's that one and the songs um spy kids 3d we did not have the 3d version well maybe we did i don't know i, I think we did um but we have the videos a couple of videos anyway i picked that up and they've been watching that. And 
You know, all of these videos, every time I find videos and DVDs, they're all replacements. We've had them all. Uh, Polar Express, we had for my older ones. The little ones haven't seen. Well, they saw it once. It was about a year and a half ago. So I don't think they remember it. Um, Atlantis. Harry Potter, which my 18-year-old was asking for. Um... She asked me to find and send her. She loves Harry Potter always. So I said, I'll pick these up. But actually, the little kids have been watching them. Anyhow, um, I know we have a couple more around here, too. Somewhere that were just random from our original belongings. And what's next? I'll go with this book. Everything, the Everything Toddler Activities book. Games and projects that entertain and educate. So it just gives you guidelines. Toys that are worthwhile. Building a toy collection. Guiding your child. Um, treasure hunts. Fill and dump. Water paints. And it's divided up into different things, different categories. Shaving cream, finger paint, that's sensory sensory bottles, rubber finger puppet, that's less for ten, all about me. Um, storyboard flannel storyboard activities, leaf maze, ring toss, which reminds me we have a ring toss game that I haven't used with them. Um, Put it away in the closet. Oh, we need to get that out. Because I've been losing my mind lately. So I haven't been recording. So I'm too busy with them. Um, Toy Story. And it plays a song. I'm not going to push it. But I think it's Old Susanna. Because I like uh, Toy Story. So. Charlie Bird. Counts to the beat, baby jazz. It's a um, there's a jazz CD right here, and this book is like brand new. It hasn't been this thing has not been opened. The seal, the it's still sealed. I just lifted it, but it was still sealed. Charlie Birds, and I just like the pictures in here. And it one, two, four. Oh, and I was really getting this for the baby because I know she would enjoy this. Um, great girl stories. Of course, I was getting this for the girl, but he's going to enjoy it too. Little Princess, Matilda, Pollyanna, what Katie did. Oh, Anna Green Gable. So this ought to be very um, interesting for her. Little Women. Little House in the Big Woods, Ramona of the Past, People on Stocking, which I love. So cool. It's, and it's a Kingfisher. So, good story book. Whew. And then they had some library books, so I picked this one up Miss Frizzle's Adventure on Magic School Bus. So. We're always into castles and things like that. They're fascinated with this. And it's in red condition, but it's it's still good. Um, let's put the cover on it. Then I found Kumon Summer Review and Prep Math and Reading. It's K1. That get any use out of this? And stickers, it's brand new book. So here is that. And then we have Bible crafts and more, ages four to ten. And if you guys watched a haul a couple of hauls back, we were um, I showed you Bible curriculum. He says, Baby Moses Basket, God Cares Clock, Samuel's Bed, Nesting Dolls, 
So and they've really been taken to those books. They want to read them every night, all of them. So um, I thought this would be good. And I know we have another cra a Bible craft book, a couple of them, to like two more. Um, definitely into the crafts. Uh, that was fourteen ninety nine. Let's see, there it is. Then I found Playhouse Disney Storybook. Uh, it's heavy and it's like great, great, brand new. It feels brand new. It's not even sticky or anything. Little Einstein's, which they love. Handy Manny. Let's see who else is in here. Mickey and Friends. Tigger and Pooh. Enough about that, and then I found <laughs> my son loves Diego, so I found him a Diego book, and then Forever Friends, and it has a um a DVD, just a scenes DVD. It's also brand new. I have it it's on top of the TV actually because they were watching it. So, um, just Disney stories. So that's that. And then I found the Young People's Atlas of the United States. And I was trying to remember when I saw it, if we had it. I don't think we have this particular one, but for some reason I'm fascinated with getting atlases and um, maps. But it works because they always want one. It's, you know, they, I don't know. We have them in different books, but they always want their own book. So... I figured this one will work. And it has lots of different things in here. Pictures, I like the pictures in it. So, uh, pick that up. Oops. Ohio. And let's see, let's find our great state of Tejas. There we go. Texas. So, they will definitely get a lot of these out of here. Learning about our native Texas. Which we have to, um, they have to learn Texas history. That's the only like, requirement in our homeschooling law. <laughs> You can even call it a law. They just have to learn Texas, um, Texas history, which is not a problem. So some of this is the start of it. <clears throat> Almost end. Okay. Welcome to Geo Genius 2. Press any state or press the quiz button. Texas. The capital of Texas is Austin. Texas is called the Lone Star State. The state animal of Texas is the armadillo. The state animal of Texas is the armadillo. Sorry. The Alamo is in Texas. Sam Houston fought for the independence of Texas. Georgia. Georgia is called the Peach State. The capital of Georgia is Atlanta. A possum lives in Georgia. Stone Mountain Confederate Memorial is in Georgia. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Georgia. So, I found this. And Which state is called the Heart of Dixie? And I know that too. <laughs> Okay, anywho, I found this at, um, it was in the toy section, and it's in fairly good shape, so I thought, um, why not? Right, the correct answer is Alabama. I know you guys are waiting to see if I can get it right. I'm smart. <laughs> so, anywho, <laughs> anywho, and no, I did not plan that. Um, I just randomly pushed the quiz button. Is the ladybug the state insect of Ohio or Nebraska? I have no idea, but this is cool because the kids are around the house looking for ladybugs. That's their thing. Um, Ohio or Nebraska. I'm going to say... 
sorry. The correct answer is Ohio. I just want to see if it was right or wrong. Okay. Anywho, there's that. See you later. <laughs> um, so, I need to. They've been playing with that, which they love. So, I was, I was happy I found that. Um, then I found Leap Pad, which we had the whole setup, but I found this uh, backpack. It just needs to be cleaned. But it had the leap pad in it. Oy, oy, oy. And it's like really great condition. So it probably was in somebody's car or something. But it has um preschool, just the, the basic um book in here. In just a minute. Which well, sister, the green I'm not going to go through this because leap pads are so old, everybody. Thank you. I found it. Thank you. I'll put it right there. Okay. So, anywho, I found that one and it came with <coughs> also, there's the cartridges. Um. It came with first grade, the smart guide to first grade, and, and it's multi subject. And so we do this one is um, four six, age four to six preschool. You want to hold it for a second, and also second grade, the Incredibles. So that's there. Okay, take that over there and just look at it for a minute. And so. Um, it was th it was um two dollars, and so I also found. Can you go over there? Thank you. Um, another leap pad, and I didn't pick it up the day I found. Sorry, I need you all to walk back in your room. The day I found this one, I had to go back the next day because I left it. I was not thinking. I didn't even turn it on to see if it worked. But I figured, see, they're into the lead pad. I always try to keep two of things like this if I find them. So I went back and got the other one. Seeing as how we had a couple of books and cartridges. And that is the end of that haul. Sorry it kind of ran long. But thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. The puzzle. Okay. I found this puzzle a couple of weeks ago when I went to Target. It was in the dollar spot. So, find it. It's like a, um, like a I spy. How many buttons? A ball. Oink, find all the farm things. What color are the rainbows? Find a ducky. And we have not done it yet. It's a 24 piece. It says 5 plus. 24 by 18 inches. So, and it was actually, it was in the dollar spot, but in the um, $3 section. So, it was really cool. Let's get this built soon. All right. I'll be back once I get them out of here. <laughs> Bye, guys.